now time for two useless organisms with Tristan and Tommy. Welcome to Two Useless Organisms, a show where two useless organisms discuss a variety of topics as it pertains to their meaningless existence. Today's show, we will discuss Squid Game and the holiday season. Keep in mind that Two Useless Organisms is not safe for work, so we might say naughty words or something. Is that my very, boy Tommy over very, there? Very naughty. We're going to get a get real naughty. <laughs> naughty or nice. Santa's yeah, not coming. For, for, unfortunately, not as naughty because Brian isn't here, so I can't get as naughty as I Oh, let's just take a moment to reflect on how wonderful it was to have Brian and your lady friend Maggie on the show. Oh, yeah, that was fucking great. We had a blast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, we have a couple of comments that we want to say before we hop into our first topic. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, we got a t-shirt fundraiser going on. Go over to our Facebook page, check it out. Um, we have a link pinned there to the top of the page where you can click the link and order a shirt. All proceeds for our podcast shirts are going to Give Kids the World. If you don't know what Give Kids the World is, it's a nonprofit organization that provides cost-free vacations to children with critical illnesses and their families. So we want to send some money their way, order some shirts. We, we're not going to see a cent of it. We're not getting any money off of it. All proceeds are going directly to Give Kids the World. Um, so that's, that's what I have to say. Tommy, I know you have something much more important to say. Yes, yes, yes. The way more important thing I have to say is, uh, Stephen with the PH, you're a cunt. All right. We always love to hear that. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, I like saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen with a PH is a cunt. Yeah. I just, I heard it in my own head just now in, in Siri's voice, you know? Yeah. Or the, this or meeting is being need, recorded voice. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, I need to, uh, I think next episode, uh, get ready, because I'm going to get, like, the TikTok voice. Steven with a PH is a cunt, you know, whatever. I'm going to get the, <laughs> see what she actually sounds like. I just thought of that this second when he said that. Um, oh, man. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. I might cough a little bit here, folks. I, uh, I uh, have a sore throat. But, uh, all righty. So we're going to do this uh, week's episode in a little, little different of a way. My topic is going to be, when does the holiday season start? And yes. then Tommy's topic is going to be Squid Game, but we're going to move that to the very end of the episode. So if you haven't seen Squid Game yet, you can go watch all nine episodes or whatever, and then come back and finish listening to our episode here. Exactly. Because like, you know, <laughs> we normally do both of our topics then the review. Uh, but this week, we want all of our listeners who haven't watched or finished Squid Game to be able to listen to as much of the show without having to get to my topic. And I'm like, oh, crap, I got to skip through everything. So you'll be able to enjoy our show. And then we'll talk about Squid Game. And if you have seen Squid Game or don't care about getting spoiled, feel free to listen to the entire show. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So let's hop right on into it, my Very life. spoiler conscious around here. Oh yeah, yeah, and we will definitely talk about. Like this I, I'm, I'm sports. very, like I'm very conscious about it. Like as soon as like I'm with like a group of people, and like somebody mentions the show, and like we start talking about it, I like double check. Wait, have you guys finished it? Like I'm like making sure like everyone has like finished it or got to a certain point. I'm like I, I don't want it to be ruined for anyone else. That's very kind of you, Tommy. That's uh, right. So let's just hop into it. Um, now my question here: When does the holiday season start? Tommy, uh, tell me what you think. Christmas Eve is October 31st. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, I'm glad to hear you say that because <laughs> October 31st, I had to work all day. Um, I came home. I watched a little bit of a spooky movie before I fell asleep. And the next day, had to go to work again, came back home. Halloween stuff came down. Christmas stuff went up. I'm wearing a Christmas shirt right now. You can't see it, but my whole living room, or at least my little entertainment system, is all Christmased out already. Oh, I love that. I'm and like, I, I feel really bad because I always want to decorate for Halloween. I always want to decorate for Christmas. I usually do get to Christmas, um, but for Halloween, I never go all out like I want to. Um, but uh, I, I was gonna, I want to backtrack a little bit because there is a tweet that I saw the other day, and this relates to us because we live in Central Florida. But, you know, with Disney and Universal starting their Halloween shit, like in August, most people in Florida are sick of actual Halloween by the time we reach October 31st. So that's why we're doing Christmas right away, right after that. Um, I also know there are a lot of people who are passionate about no 
Christmas doesn't begin till December. Like we still got to get through Thanksgiving. And I, I think just out of spite, I like to go, nah, it's Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I'm right. Don't there get me wrong. Right. I love Thanksgiving. My mom makes the best stuffing you'll ever have. Love Thanksgiving mm-hmm. food. And it's not that I don't celebrate it. It's just Christmas, baby. I love it. I yeah. uh, let me tell you why I was so keen on starting Christmas on November 1st this year is because last year, um, COVID had entered my house at the house I was living in and it kind of, uh, you know, it screwed everything up. You know, everyone in the house had to, had to miss work and all this crap. So, um, this was during, I think this was in November and I had to take three weeks off work in November. And, uh, so I, I was like, okay, I'm going to use this time to decorate and I'm going to enjoy Christmas in here because if I'm going to be stuck in my room, miserable, I can at least have some holiday joy. And so fast forward to this year, I'm kind of just having the same mentality. I was like, well, it made me yeah. so happy last year. Why not do it again this year? It really, it really does. Um, like I love, like just Christmas decorations and Christmas music is honestly a really great vibe. And now like here in Florida, like it's, you know, beginning of November. So the weather is finally starting to cool off after sweating our balls off for the last nine months or whatever. Um, so it's like, it, it's a great mood right now. Yeah, I'm digging it. I think that's, I think that's another thing like now that the weather's cooling down it's like another reason to be like it's christmas <laughs> well that's definitely what my mentality was because the last few days it ha- it's been like in the 60s if oh not low God. 70s it's been so nice down it's here wonderful so i was like i was in the mood because i was thinking about oh well this is what it's like back home right now well actually back home in illinois right now i think it's already winter but um <laughs> yeah <laughs> but uh, uh, i think even in north carolina it's been in the 40s which i'm like terrified of now but <laughs> yeah brutal but uh no i'm digging it so i'm glad me and you were on the same page about that i was yeah, getting ready too. to argue with you but we- yeah no man <laughs> like i mean we can uh we, we need a third fucker to argue with right now i know i guess our listener just head over to our facebook page or something and, and start leaving mean bully bullying posts please please us. bully me i really need it yeah we don't care. um um, if, if we are going to be talking about the holiday season, though, I think uh, another thing we're going to agree on is a uh, fuck Black Friday. You know, that's after Thanksgiving. I refuse to go Black Friday shopping. Um, I think I did engage in it one year, and that was a decent time. Like that, that was a, I, this was actually kind of a fun time where this was when Black Friday actually started on Friday and not during fucking Thanksgiving. Uh, me and my buddies, we lined up at the Best Buy, 10.30 p.m., long line. And I remember there was like a really good Xbox 360 sale. So that tells you how long ago this was. I was still in high school. And I, I remember getting the Xbox 360 one, like in, in hindsight now, it was like a year before the Xbox One and PS4 came out. Um, and a few months later, fucking all my friends like sold their 360s for PS3s because there is a weird... PS3 is better than Microsoft thing like a few months later at that time in like 2013 or whatever. Um, but anyways, like at the time, like it was kind of fun. We were in line together and there was a car that was like driving down the long line of people giving everyone free hot chocolate because it was like a cold, crisp North Carolina winter, late fall night. So that was kind of nice. I remember that. And then it was very smooth because like I feel like when you think of Black Friday, it's like craziness, people fucking fighting over cups and shit or whatever. I don't, I don't fucking know. Um, but like they, they had their shit under control. Like, you know, we, we waited in the line or whatever. When we got in, we were in and out very quickly, very smooth. Like they kept the number of people in there limited and it was great. Um, but aside from me having a good time, then fuck Black Friday. <laughs> Cause like now it starts like during Thanksgiving and it's just stupid. And, and then also like, I, I know for a fact back then, like I got a good deal. Like I feel like most of the time on Black Friday, it's like shit that's like, prices are just hiked up and they say they're 50% off. Like, like I remember going to the mall, like one of the last times I actually went shopping on a black Friday, there was like 50% off all these t-shirts and the t-shirts original price was like 40 bucks. So I'm like, so I'm paying $20 for a t-shirt. Like that's how much I would normally pay. It's dumb. Yeah. Fuck black well, I'm, Friday. I'm right there with you. I I've engaged in it a few times, like back in the day, but ever since I've been down here in Florida, Florida. Okay. So get this, mm-hmm. this just came into my brain. What, everyone around the country right black friday is crazy there's there's like looting going on and there's fights yeah, breaking like out. that's florida 365 <laughs> so 
I don't need or to... October first in the Magic <laughs> Kingdom this year. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I God. I was in Texas for that. I I was like I don't I don't want to be anywhere yeah. near this state. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. No. So I I like I said I've engaged in it. I've just done it for like DVDs and stuff. Um, nothing crazy yeah. like TVs or even game consoles. I'm not a really. Yeah. Video isn't it so fucking weird how like you'll be at like Walmart and Target and there's just like tvs in the clothes sections on black friday for some fucking reason yeah there's just like, pallets like, upon the pallets is up with that? <laughs> of tvs like, and then what, what's there's the like, deal with that <laughs> there's people with shopping carts that have like eight tvs somehow Why? loaded into them and i'm like what are you guys so doing dumb. ah man i'm right like, there with you. you don't need like you don't need that tv <laughs> it's uh, not gonna do any good for you gross but uh no man anyway well yeah hol- it's the holidays man and just for for our listeners to kind of understand when we're recording this we're recording this on november 2nd <laughs> yeah so by our standards christmas just started yesterday and yeah. we and, uh, are I, if you're watching least, the video i got my christmas baymax here or, oh know, christmas ba- it's, not, it's not like distinctly christmas but you know he's wearing his cap and scarf that makes you think of christmas or me at least so <laughs> this was actually a christmas present which probably wouldn't be that surprising. Like one of my friends in college, I think, just saw a targeted ad and was like, Tommy, because Baymax is the best. So, Dude, I know you love Baymax. I, I don't yeah. have anything. I have my Christmas Disney shirt. I'm wearing Christmassy type of pajama pants. And then my, my socks say, oh, our listeners won't be able to see this, but <laughs> it says tis the season. Incredible. <laughs> Sorry I do know that this year, Christmas. me and my roommate need to get a better Christmas tree. I think his girlfriend might have one, but um, I remember last year we bought one from Amazon that already had lights on it, and more than half the lights didn't even work, and then that fuck Eric that we're friends with, he let us have his Christmas tree, which was bigger, but then half the lights on that also didn't work, <laughs> and then like by the end of Christmas, like most of the lights had died out. So like me and my roommate are like, this is, this was fucking terrible. We cannot do that again next year. So uh, hopefully I actually get some time this year so we can do Christmas right. Cause I love having Christmas decorations and Christmas lights everywhere. Do it, my lad, do it. Um, it's like, I usually, I usually do Christmas better at least than I do Halloween because Halloween, I feel like I love Halloween, but then I just never do it right. I always forget to watch horror movies. I always like am too lazy to come up with a good Halloween costume or do anything for Halloween. It's like I might do a horror nights at Universal like in early October or September and then I I just skip October. I'm just like, oh yeah, Halloween's this month. Oh wait, Halloween, fuck. Oh, it's Christmas, cool. <laughs> yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Um Well, all right. Some holiday holiday joy for you folks. Um but I believe now, Tommy, we have a, uh, a word from our sponsor, perhaps? A word from our sponsor. Um, so it's going to be a little awkward, but I did not make any deals with any sponsors this week. So we won't be making any extra money this week. Sorry about that, Tristan. Oh, wait, I have to pay for this out of pocket? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, my bad. Uh, I'll just try you know, to I'll, 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 This week will be on me. Oh, you're, you're paying you know, for this episode? It's supposed to be my job to contact these sponsors, and I just didn't get to it this week. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that. That's my bad. Well, um, I'm going to give a little foreshadowing here to our listeners. The next episode you hear of this show is going to be called One Useless Organism, because we're about to have a little bit of a staffing mix-up. Uh, Tommy, staffing. you're done. Oh, shit, are you quitting? <laughs> shit, Tommy. You're so stupid. You're you're quitting because I'm stupid? No, Tommy, you're stupid because I'm firing you as the podcast boss man. Damn, this is, you know, I wasn't expecting a public uh, execution like this, Tristan. You know what? You're rehired. Oh, cool. Thank you. All right, good, because I don't don't want to have to rename the show. Yeah. Uh, Exactly. Like, we've already done that once. Already done it once. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> yeah, f- fucking Eric. <laughs> fucking Eric. You know who's worse than Stephen with a PH? Who? Fucking, fucking spelled with a PH, Eric. <laughs> yeah, Eric with a PH. Fuck you, Eric yeah, with Eric. a PH. Ferric. Yeah, Ferric. Uh, no, more Eric. like Derek. More like, yeah, Am more I like right? 
fucking uh, stupid. Anyway, so uh, yeah. Eric, you're great. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't be Fuck. here without you. Yeah. Um, but this uh, really was like kind of his idea. <laughs> so this whole thing was his idea. Me it really uh, was. Me, Tommy, and uh, and Eric were all chilling one day, and Eric says, "Let's start a podcast." And I was like, "Well, I think I'm funny." And Tommy was like, "Well, I think my voice sounds good in a microphone." So then we, uh, <laughs> we even, were like, even though I like stutter through bullshit half the time. Yeah, that's all right. That's, we love, yeah. we love, we love it's it. It's all good. Um, but uh, and then we were like, "Sure, we're qualified to make a podcast." And uh, yeah, exactly. Look at us now, over a year and a half later, and we I think we have about 30 listeners. So Exactly, man. We're, we're, we're getting somewhere. We're crushing the, the podcast game here. <laughs> All right. Well, hmm. yeah, hydrate. Um, should oh, yeah. we move on to our, uh, to our Yelp review? Yeah, let's do the Yelp review. All right. This one's relatable for me and you, Tommy. All right. Yelp review. Yelp review. Yeah. This is a Yelp review I found. No oh, shit. For an event called the Florida Awards. The Florida Awards. Mm-hmm. Oh, you ever God. heard of the Darwin Awards? This is like that, but for Florida. <laughs> um, so the Florida Awards was held at the Osceola County Stadium in Kissimmee, Florida. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or I'm for just... the to- or as the tourists call it, Kissimmee. <laughs> Kissimmee. 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 Oh, stupid. Kissimmee, come yeah. on. I grew up like loving the the Central Florida like theme park type of thing. Like I grew up going to Disney World so much that I love Disney World so much. But like, yeah, I didn't know what Kissimmee was until I moved down here. See, so, yeah, like, I, I, I don't I know. Knew, if... Like uh, when when I was younger and like we, we we used to go to Disney World a lot, like to save money. My parents like we would always stay like in like a comfort suites or something in what they called Kissimmee. Um, so like I had heard of it and like kind of knew what it was. What, what's that tourist trap road at 95 or whatever? 192? 192, that one. <laughs> Tommy, you live, you live here. <laughs> I do live here. I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm just I, know, gonna I, I got the nine part, right? <laughs> there was a nine. Um, <laughs> Well, why don't you take a nap while I read the Yelp review? All right, All right cool. All right. <laughs> He's gone. All right. <clears throat> I don't know if he can hear me. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to start now, Tommy. <laughs> I recently moved to Florida from Indiana and was exploring the Central Florida area when I saw a billboard that read the 23rd Annual Florida Awards and was intrigued. One Google search later, I had learned that the Florida Awards were going to be held at the Osceola County Stadium in Kissimmee, only about 20 minutes from my house. I thought this would be a great way to learn more about the area and perhaps make some friends. So I bought a ticket. A couple weeks later, that fateful day came. I made my way to the stadium. The vendor's room at the event would be open all day and the award ceremony would be at the end of the day at 6 p.m. I hadn't eaten yet, so I found a little food stand selling the most Floridian thing ever, gator jerky. The only other food in the area were three Wawa's all at the same intersection and I didn't feel like eating subpar gas station subway so I came to terms with the fact that I was about to eat gator jerky. It actually wasn't all that bad, just very chewy. This must have been a very muscular gator, probably from repeatedly tearing apart all the discarded human bodies that were a result of all the Florida murders. After lunch, I headed into the vendor's room to see what was going on. Navigating through the crowd of low-income families and drug dealers was tough, but I was able to make it to a few of the booths. Among the advertisers and products I saw being sold, were pre-made cardboard anything helps God bless signs. I love Ronta Santis handguns that were designed to look like pencil sharpeners so they could easily be brought into schools. Thanks China face masks, <laughs> Gatorland, and of course, $39 Disney tickets. I sat on a bench for a while waiting for the awards to start, just people watching and listening in on the conversations of my fellow Floridians. I overheard such things as, don't bother with the DMV, having a driver's license is optional in this state. I wish these stores would stop making it so hard to take their shopping carts off their property. And the only way I'll ever talk to my kids again is if Biden makes it legal to smoke weed with them. Well, it was finally time for the main event, the awards ceremony. I found a seat in the stadium and the ceremony began. The first few awards given out were most lane merges in one mile or less, most gators killed and harvested for their meat to be sold at the giant orange world store on 192, Highest number of years without using your turn signal. 
most successful Taco Bell robberies and most oh, money shit. made pretending to be homeless. Who's robbing Taco Bell? I know. It, it, Fucking disrespectful. Going there as a regular patron is How basically robbery. Do you anyway. disrespect Taco Bell like that? I don't know, but ask your fellow Floridians, Thomas. Fucking bastards. I know. <sighs> That was all I made it through before a middle-aged woman wearing a Hitler 2020 sundress ran into stadium screaming that the round earthers will all burn for eternity and that rapture is coming and that the great round salamander. Round earthers, you mean yeah. like normal people. Round. Well, I identify as a round earther. <laughs> maybe for the other 49 states, Tommy, but not in this maybe. one. The fuck? Uh, yeah. Hitler 2020 Sundress ran into the stadium screaming that all the round earthers will all burn for eternity and that rapture is coming and that the great salamander will rise from the depths of the earth and behead all who disagree with his scripture. It was time for me to go home and possibly look into moving back to Indiana. Even endless cornfields and nothingness of, of significance for hundreds of miles is better than living in this horrendous peninsula. So if you're a Floridian reading this, it's probably already too late. But if you're thinking about visiting from out of state, Please stay away from the Florida Awards, or else they may claim you as one of their own. One out of ten stars. I, I was literally thinking, wow, they really wanted to move back to Indiana. It was <laughs> yikes. <laughs> that that <laughs> if something wants to make you move to Indiana, <laughs> that just it, tells wow. you how bad Florida is, folks. Like you uh, may not understand, yeah. it's bad. <laughs> yeah, no, it really is. Like, aside from some cool, like, no, it's, no, it, it fucking sucks. Um, I was doing some research at the beginning of this. Um, you know, when you start talking about the Florida Awards, it's been going on for 23 years. So it started in 1998, and it clearly did not take a break in 2020. That was actually their busiest fucking year, which doesn't even surprise me. And of course, they weren't enforcing masks in 2020. There, um, like, I, th I'm pretty sure that's where like. You know, like we were one of like the biggest epicenters of the pandemic. I'm pretty sure it was because of this fucking thing. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. The Florida Awards. Because um, like you know, literally like every major event, like even like Halloween Horror Nights and like every major sporting event was canceled in 2020. Not the Florida Awards. There wasn't no. a Zoom chat for it. <laughs> no, no, no Zoom chat optional. It was in person only. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, go back, go back, folks. Here's your little homework assignment. Go back and search. Um, COVID cases on Google, on Google or whatever, and it'll give you a little graph and just hover over July of 2020, um, which is where the Florida that is actually from July. Uh, and yep. you'll see just the gigantic spike. Um, oh yeah. And then uh, of course we had the big spike in July again this year too. Weird. Yeah, I know. Isn't it strange? That's so weird how that works. Yeah. But COVID isn't real though. So it, I don't really know. That's right. Yeah. Right. Really. Who am I? kidding uh the vaccine is really a micro chip to control us yeah i've always wondered uh how that's like what what people think they're trying to like trying to control like i i'm just a lazy fucking idiot with acid reflux i have no idea what the fuck the government wants to do with me yeah, I'm right there with you. Like, I, I go to work, I come home, I record a fucking dumbass podcast, and then I, I watch some TV. I like, like, I'm vaccinated. I have the microchip. I don't know when I hope it's they gonna do. Like, they're gonna in. be really disappointed spying on me. I know that. Like, that's what I know. Yeah. Um, go for it. <laughs> I just do not know. Nothing makes sense anymore. Pro government surveillance. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. anyway. But uh, all right, that was a doozy. But hey, let's hop into something more fun. Uh, but also more depressing in a way. Spoiler alert, Squid Game. Right, spoiler alert, Squid Game. So if you have not finished Squid Game, and if you have not seen it, and you don't want to get spoiled, uh, this will be the end of the episode for you. So make sure to check us out on social media. Get back to this episode when you finish Squid Game, and check out every other episode of this show from the past and the future that doesn't spoil TV shows. So if you have not seen Squid Game yet, this is your chance to turn it off. I'm giving you a few seconds in case you're cooking. And you got five, four, three, two, one. Player four, five, six wins. <laughs> <laughs> we all, come on, I knew that was going to happen. I knew he was going to fucking win the whole dang time. Yeah. You know, so 
I sort of was holding, so I didn't realize, because, you know, the first two games that happen make it seem like multiple winners can happen, and it really wasn't until the Marbles one where I realized, oh, shit, they're just killing everyone, which, I mean, you know, the tug of war before that, you know, may have alluded to it, but I feel like the Marbles one was like the Infinity War of the fucking show, <laughs> and that episode kind of ruined my life. Like, I was actually kind of shaking and crying. About, like, I haven't cried at a show in a while, I don't think. Um and then the fucking finale had to fucking, like, the old man had to be alive in the finale to fucking ruin it for me. Like, I was so sad for him. Yep, yep. My uh, my girlfriend Allison was the same exact way. She felt so bad for the old man, Ilnam, the whole yeah. time. Yeah. And then the last episode came, and she, like just the look on her face was like... Yeah, it just, just kind of pissed me off. <laughs> like, I think some people were mad at the finale when he, like, decided not to go on the plane. That, that part I didn't even care that much about. Like, I was mad at the, I was mad at the fucking old man. Like, I cried for you. <laughs> Dude. Um, I got to say, though, show? that show was good. Like, I, oh I my was God, surprised yeah. at how good it I was. I enjoyed it. Um, like, the first episode really draws you in. <laughs> it does. Like, um, Red Light, Green Light, that was... Also, this is important. Did subtitles or dub? Oh, I didn't even know about the dub until yesterday. I watched okay, this, good. like, over a week ago. I watched subtitles. Yeah, me too. Like, I think it's better because you can actually see the acting a lot better and, like, like the acting and the feelings are conveyed a lot better in the actual language and just read the subtitles. People who bitch about it, you're a coward. Because, um, like, also, like, in the Korean version, like, the red light, green, green light, like, the way that, you know, the creepy fucking doll is, like, singing, that's, like, way better than red light, green light. Whatever. Oh, they actually did that in the dub? Yeah. Like, oh, jeez. Like, I heard it and I'm like, oh, God, that sounds terrible. I want to hear the creepy sounding doll singing and then <laughs> so you want to know something about that doll that I, I saw on social media maybe you saw it too that was originally like that thing was already built and it was up in like a park or something I, I believe and then after the show got big it's like moving around different parks in Korea oh really and you can go and see it yeah I can see that <laughs> it lost I mean, its hand at one point <laughs> So I mean, it was just missing a hand. I mean, Squid Game did become the most viewed first season of any show on Netflix ever. So, like, I could see that being a big deal there. That's fucking great. Like, yeah. You know, it's just, like, I think it just the success story of the show gives it an appeal. Because, like, there was the thing about how the guy originally started writing it in, like, 2008, I think. And, like, just everywhere kept rejecting it. And then Netflix, I guess, in 2020, 2021, was like, we got you. And then it blew the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, kind of like every music production label that told the Beatles you'll never be anything is like, oh, shit, we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, it's cool to see because I think there's a stigma in the U.S. that, like, other countries don't do things as good as we do or, or whatever, you know. Yeah. But, like, and, and I have to say, I've never seen any Korean cinema or tv at all yeah uh prior like a, to i've heard game. parasite's amazing i haven't gotten around to it though i started it but i didn't finish it not because i didn't yeah. like it i just had to do something but um yeah uh i was like and it really drove home to me i was like oh wow like there's probably a whole vault of just amazing movies and tv mm -hmm. from all sorts of countries um that yeah. most americans don't know about because they're too ignorant to even try or bother yeah so I don't know. It was great. I love that show. Um, well, who's your favorite character, Tommy? My favorite character? Um, I'm, I don't remember her name off the top of my head, but you know who, who I'm going to talk, who I'm talking about when I say the annoying bitch. Yeah, yeah, the crazy ass. She was woman. my favorite. I loved her so much. Like, she played that character so well. And I remember after the marbles episode because like you know everyone had to pair up with a partner and then she got dragged away because there wasn't enough people there was a part of me thinking because they didn't sh they didn't like eat, there was no gunshot noise or anything I'm, i was thinking you know after that emotional carnage that emotional roller coaster that episode six took me through i'm really hoping that episode seven starts off with her just like alive and then that happened and i just laughed my ass off because i was like i was waiting for that and i'm so happy it happened like, and then the way that she went out on the bridge game was so fucking great. Like, she she was the best. Yeah, the more I'm talking about her, she, she was the fucking best character. Don't, don't have me. 
I, uh, I, I'm pretty basic with my answer, but I like the old man. Um, the old man. Oh yeah. I love the I old thought, man. And then I also loved uh, song Wu. Yeah. Do you know that he graduated from SNU in business? No way. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even really con connect to that, but like, I remember like after I started looking up memes and everything, everyone kept commenting how much uh, Ji Hoon kept talking about how he graduated from SNU. And like, you know, I noticed it in the show, but like, I didn't really think of it or like think of it as being funny, but like now seeing everybody talk about it, it's fucking funny to me. Yeah, it's true. Um, awesome. Like awesome I think shit. apparently there was at least 13 mentions from Ji Hoon about it through the entire show, according to a Reddit comment. I need a rewatch to confirm. But yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, cool. All right. Hey, look at that. We're 30 minutes and 12 seconds into this sucker. Fantastic. Um, I, I actually did really like Song Wu's character though. Like, you know, you know, like, you know, I was mad at him, you know, during the Marbles episode as everyone else was because he fucking did Ali dirty. But like, he was such like a realistic and like kind of relatable character because like, it didn't seem like, because like that he was, I mean, aside from him, the reason why he was in Squid Game with all the illegal shit he was doing, like, it seemed like he kind of cared, but like he was just doing what he had to do to survive. And in that way, he was kind of relatable. Yeah, it's it's a tricky thing to think about because part of yeah. you wants, part of you thinks that's wrong. What he's doing is yeah. wrong. But then the other part is like, all these people are just gamblers. Yeah. You know, like maybe it's smart to put yourself b before everybody else and do that. Yeah. I don't like, know. It was very smart, but it was also like, how do you do that to Ali, man? He was so great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Talk us out. Um. But before we talk us out, though, we do we need to talk about. I know we're getting to thirty minutes here, but <laughs> if you were in Squid Game, how far do you realistically think you would get? Oh shit! Um, I don't have hope for myself. I think I would have been taken out in red light, green light. You think it would have been taken out in red light, green light? Yeah. So I, I know, like you know, you sort of had like a, just under a fifty percent chance of surviving that just because of the mob. But I'm kind of thinking outside of that mob, I probably would have survived red light, green light just because I was a camp counselor. But I do think the second game would have killed me. What was the second 100%. game again? 100%. There is no fucking, like, I don't have gentle hands. So even if I had the fucking triangle, I would have fucking broke it. Okay. Like, yep. I'm there's right no right way right I would have made it through that. Yeah. Um, if I somehow made it, because I know I wouldn't have picked the umbrella because I didn't like that shape. Like, I would have gone for any of the other three. I don't know which one. If I made it to tug of war, if I'm with a good group, I would have made it. If I was in marbles, I probably would have sacrificed myself because I'm like, we're clearly all gonna die here. You can go. Fuck it. Let's. I would have done what the one girl did, um, who just like kind of tossed her marble and was like, "Thanks for playing with me." That would have been me. That was also another sad moment. Yeah. Um, glass bridge though, I know I would have chose a middle number. Like I remember like watching the show, I'm like, "Oh man, what would I do?" And I'm like, I "I'd be safe," as the VIPs were describing. So, and. As we realized, if you weren't one of the last couple, you would die. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, the uh, second game would kill me. But yeah, I guess we're. I guess I guess I'll sign us off now, Tristan, since you seem to be in such a hurry. Um, thank you guys for listening to Two Useless Organisms. Uh, be sure to check us out on our social medias. Rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts. Uh, if you have anything, if there's anything that you want us to talk about, please let us know on comment on social media, message us, however you can find us, because uh, we want you guys to be a part of the show as well. We want to say things that you want to hear or talk about things you want you you, you yeah <laughs> tristan yes cool all right bye bye two useless organisms two useless organisms It's being recorded.